Hi, I'm Dmitry Gwenadier. I'd like to share with you today how Blingo's voice technology can help improve TV experience. The TV. We all know and love TV. And we've come to accept that the remote control is an integral part of that experience. In fact, by now every household seems to have at least a few of those devices. But as televisions become smarter and smarter every year with new channels and options and features being added, the remote has become quite limited. It falls particularly short when it comes to discovering new content. Now imagine if you could operate your TV simply by issuing voice commands. Let me show you how. So in this demo, I'm going to use my smartphone as a remote control, and you'll see me tapping the button and speaking into it, okay? Let's get going. I'm watching a show called Monk. It's fun. But I've seen this episode a few times, so let me see what else is on TV. What's on tonight? It's heard me. It's processing. Checking tonight's listings. Very cool. Exactly what I wanted. Very nice. Brought me back the TV guide. I can see the shows, the programs, the options. Very nice. Very easy. Let's say I'm in the mood for some sports. I want to go to ESPN. Now, ordinarily, I would have to fumble for the numbers and remember, was it 50 or 51? Or was it 850 for the high def? Luckily, with voice, I don't have to. I can just speak it. Go to ESPN. How cool is that? I was able to change channels just by the name of the channel. I don't have to remember the numbers anymore. This is very cool. Now, for all the diehards who have already committed some of the numbers to memory, fear not, it will still work. Let me try that. Channel 24. Okay. Still works. Don't forget the numbers. You can still use them. So these couple of examples were pretty simple. I got the TV guide, we switched some channels. Very easy, very simple, but it's just as good on a conventional remote. So let's get a bit more ambitious. I've heard good things about the show Modern Family. I think it's on tonight. Let me try to watch that. I want to watch Modern Family. Processing. Understood the name of the show. Very cool. Looking for it. Found the channel. Found that it's on ABC. Switching the channel for me. Well, looks promising. I'm going to watch that for sure. Let's try another example. These days, folks have access to more than just real-life TV. There are a number of on-demand options out there. So let's say there's a particular movie that I want to watch, and it's on Netflix. So let me try that. Play Tomorrow Never Dies on Netflix. All right, again, understood the name, understood the source. I want to stream it from Netflix. Looking for content. Very cool. Nice James Bond movie, by the way. So, again, notice I didn't have to press any buttons, switch inputs, or tell anything about the sources. I just spoke it, and I was able to play the movie. A couple of good examples, I knew the names of the program, so that was pretty good. Now, let's say I don't know what I want to watch. It happens to me all the time. I just want to see something good, and I'll know it when I see it. So let's try that. I want to watch a movie. All right, searching for some movies. Let's see what they've got. All right, a few good recommendations here. I don't know, nothing really grabs me here. How about a comedy? All right, now we're getting somewhere. I'd love to see a funny movie, Office Space, brings back memories. Twins, I remember Twins. That was with... Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito, the two of them are just hilarious in it. I remember that. Come to think of it, it's been a while since I saw a nice Arnold movie. So let me try that. Show movies with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Very cool. I wonder. Oh, look at this. My lucky night. Look at this lineup. Twins, I already saw. Oh, T2, Terminator 2. I have to see that. Let me try that. Play Terminator 2. I think that's the one where he says hasta la vista, baby. Very cool. Found it. Found it on Netflix. And, and is now streaming it live from the Netflix for me. 
very cool. Now, this was a very significant example. This is where technology has met the needs of a human being. People are not linear. People jump around, they change their mind, they move at the speed of thought, and then they get inspired, they grab a piece of content, they just want to go for it. And the voice technology is just perfect for a case like this. Now let's say I know I'm going to be busy tonight, and I really don't want to miss my favorite show, The Simpsons. So I'm going to record it. Record The Simpsons. Okay, let's see. Looking for The Simpsons. Yeah, some thoughts. Oh, there's more than one episode interesting. Well, a couple of them I saw, but one of them I want to record. Record the one at 10.30. So it picks the episode for me and is going to record it for me, Holiday of Future Past, very nice episode as well. So with that, these examples illustrate how voice technology can improve and truly transform the TV experience. Instead of having to sift through hundreds of menu options and channels and options, people can now simply use their own voice and issue those voice commands to get at the content they're looking for, simply by asking.